To complete this somewhat abstract example, we really have to follow uh, two steps. We're given f of x is equal to g of some other function, x cubed minus 6. And we're asked to find f prime of 2. And so this is a multi-step process. Given f of x, we can first find uh, the derivative f prime of x. So first we do the derivative. That's with no twos plugged in anywhere. So we first need to find the derivative of f, of f, so f prime of x. Well, f is defined to be a composition of functions. It's g of some function here, this x cubed minus 6, is really the u of x, the inside ugly function. So when we're taking the derivative here using the chain rule, we take the derivative of the outside function. So we have g prime because g is our outside function, but it's composed with the ugly function. We don't take the derivative again yet. And so we have this um, x cubed minus 6 that's the ugly function in the middle, and what we do for the chain rule is we pull its derivative out. So we would say d dx of x cubed minus 6. And so we can do a bit more work because we know what the derivative of x cubed minus 6 is. So f prime of x is g prime of x cubed minus 6 times... Um, now we can take the derivative of this polynomial. So we have the derivative of x cubed is uh, 3x squared using the power rule. And then minus the derivative of the constant 6 would just be minus 0. So we've completed our derivative there. So we take the derivative first, but we weren't asked for the derivative. We were asked for the derivative evaluated at 2. And so now we're ready to plug in. So when we plug in, we have f prime of 2. We're plugging in 2 everywhere we see an x. So we see g prime of, and we see an x in there. So we will replace the x with 2. So we've got 2 cubed minus 6. And then we're going to multiply it by 3 times uh, 2 squared. So we can do a bit more work here. We've got g prime of... Uh, 2 cubed is 8, so we're looking at 8 minus 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2. So we have g prime of 2 times, we have 3 times 2 squared, so that's 3 times 4 is 12. So we're really looking at 12 uh, times g prime of 2. So I haven't given you all the information that you need to complete this problem. You really still need to know what g prime of 2 is. But if I also give... So I'll write this as given. Uh, if I also give you the fact that uh, g prime of 2 is negative 1, then we can complete this problem. Because given that g prime of 2 is negative 1, this would just be 12 times uh, negative 1, which would be negative 12 to give us our final answer there.